Okay guys welcome back. So in the last video I explained to you about quotient functions and how quotient functions uh, can be used to find the inequalities when you are given some range. So in this video, uh, actually in the last video I talked to you only about quotient functions where both the denominator and the numerator uh, were being used by uh, linear functions. Linear functions. So in this video I will be talking about quotient functions when either the numerator or the denominator is been used by a quadratic function. So when the numerator is linear, the denominator is quadrant, or when the uh, denominator is uh, sorry, the numerator is quadrant, the denominator is linear. So first of all, I will uh, in this video I'll be using only one example to explain you. So the ex example I'll be using is that uh, I'll take uh, something like this. 9 minus 4x if you have done something like this 9 minus 4x divided by x squared plus x plus 1 x plus 1 is greater than is greater than let's say 5 right is greater than 5 now if you have been given something like this now if you have been given a uh, linear expression for the numerator as well as for the denominator you know now how to solve this using the concept you learned uh, in the last video now if you have been given the quadratic function right the quadratic function you know you do you have to know whether this function is positive for some range and what is that range if this function is negative for some range what is that range if fun this function is completely negative from minus infinity to positive infinity or whether this function is completely positive from minus infinity to positive infinity. So first of all, before solving this, you need to know the behavior, the behavior of this quadratic function in the number line. So let's take the quadratic function x squared plus x plus 1. Right? x squared plus x plus 1. So first of all, what I'll do here is I will solve this equation using uh, not using factorization but using completing squares so complete squares you know that this is equal to x squared plus x plus now to complete this square now you know that here the coefficient is 1 so the term that should be added and subtracted is half of this coefficient squared so half of this coefficient is actually half because the coefficient is 1 half of that coefficient is half and half squared is equal to 1 fourth so you have to add 1 fourth as well as you have to subtract 1 fourth because either it will be either otherwise it will be inaccurate so minus 1 fourth plus 1 right so you can say that this part, this part is equal to a complete square where x plus half square plus this is minus one fourth plus one. So minus one fourth plus one is equal to uh, plus three fourth. So this is three fourth. So take any value for x. Take any value for x. When x is uh, uh, we'll take it by any value whether x is negative or x is 0 or x is positive we can say that this part is positive this part is positive since this part is positive the minimum value that this part can take is 0 when uh, is 0 and even when this part is 0 you can say that x square plus x plus 1 is greater than 0 because you are adding this 3 fourth 3 fourth to this part and when it x is greater than this when this part when this complete square is greater than zero greater than zero even then you can say that this whole part this whole part is again greater than zero so for given any given value so for gi any given value you know that x squared plus x plus one is zero so multiplying by x squared plus x plus one is positive and will not change the sign will not change the sign for any given value of x so that's important to know whether before solving this e uh, inequality so since since x squared plus x plus 1 is greater than 0 for any value of x what you can do is cross multiply by x because you don't need to consider about the sign so 
9 minus 4x will be greater than 5 times now x squared plus x plus 1 5 times x squared plus x plus 1 so what you can say is that now 9 minus 4x will be greater than 5x squared plus 5x plus 5 right so I'll take this 4x here I'll take this 9 here and I'll take the uh, a new quadrant a new quadratic function with an inequality so when I take minus 4x here it will be plus 4x when I take this 9 here it will be minus 9 and I will remain a 0 here so 0 is greater than 5x squared will be as it is so 5x plus this 4x now when you are taking here it will be plus 4x so 5x plus this 4x will be 9x plus 9x plus 5 when you are taking this 9 this, this side to this side it will be minus 9 so 5 minus 9 is minus 4 so 5x squared plus 9x minus 4 is less than 0 so that is the inequality the new inequality that I am getting here so what are the functions what are the values of x that satisfy this equation so let's find out so that is the next step in solving this inequality So, if you are given some function like this, y v equals 5 x squared, uh, you got plus 9 x minus 4. Right? y equals 5 x squared plus 9 x minus 4. So, you know that the multiplication, the product is 20 and the addition is 4. So, you will get uh, something like this 5 x minus 4 times x uh, no 5x minus 4 uh, x. Mm. x squared you need to get minus 4 here so the solutions will be 5x times x mm. sure I'll go for the I'll go for the equation so x is so, yeah, so x is equal to x is equal to minus 9 plus 4 minus b squared is 9 squared 81 minus 4 times 4 times 5 which is uh, 16 times 5 which is 18 divided by 2 times 9 which is 18 so that will be minus 9 plus 4 minus 1 divided by 18 right so minus 9 plus 4 minus 1 divided by 18 so when x is uh, when you take the positive solution when you take the positive solution x will be minus 9 plus 1 divided by 18 which is minus 8 divided by 18 which is minus uh, 4 divided by 9 when you take the negative solution you can say x is equal to minus 9 minus 1 divided by 18 which is minus 10 divided by 18 which is equal to minus 5 divided by 9 Right? You will get x equals minus 4 divided by 9 and x equals minus 5 divided by 9. Now as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, what you have to do is that you have to check. You have to check using the number line which regions are positive, which regions are negative and how finally what areas satisfy this equation. So if you draw the number line, minus uh, 4 by 9 will be somewhere here and minus 5 by 9 will be somewhere here right so within this region say when you substitute when you substitute some value uh, y will be y will be now say a is minus 1 right minus 1 when you substitute minus 1 here you will get minus 1 squared minus 1 squared is 1 so 1 times 5 is 5 here minus 9 
So 5 minus 9 is minus 4, minus 4 minus 4 is equal to minus 8. So it will be minus. So y is less than 0. When you substitute some value here, what you will get is a uh, between some value here, uh, minus uh, 0 0.4 half, right? Minus half. So when you substitute minus half here, minus half squared will be minus, uh, sorry, plus 1 4. So that multiplied by 5 will be 5 by 4. Here will be 9 times minus half is uh, minus 9 by 2. Here will be minus 4. So it will be 5 by 4 minus 9 by 2 uh, minus 4. So 5 by 4 minus 9 by 2. So minus 9 by 2 is also equal to minus 18 by 4. So 5 by 4 minus 18 by 4 is minus 13 by 4. Minus 13 by 4 minus 4. That will be minus. So y will be minus. So, when you subt uh, substitute some value greater than minus 4 by 9, sub some value greater than minus 4 by 9, say 0, it will be again minus. So, this is amazing, right? This is amazing. For any value, for any value, this one is minus, right? So, what actually happens? What actually happens is that y is always greater than, uh, less than 0, right? y is always less than 0. So what actually happens is that in order in order to become this one, in order to satisfy this equation, 5x squared plus 9x minus 4 should be negative. So 5x squared plus 9x minus 4 is y. Y should be negative. So y is negative for any region from minus infinity here to posi uh, positive infinity here. So uh, since y is negative between minus infinity and negative infinity, this equality is satisfied between any value between minus infinity and positive infinity. So this solution 9 minus 4x divided by x squared plus x plus 1 is greater than 5 it is satisfied by any solution between the negative and the positive infinities. And in this video I talked to you about a situation in which a quotient function is used and in the denominator we are not using a linear function we are using a actually a uh, quadratic function right so in the next video i'll be talking about another concept on inequalities and see you then